Thank you for your interest in the Sustainable Chemistry and Catalysis REU program at Arizona State University. This program, which is funded by the National Science Foundation, offers undergraduate students with limited research experience a chance to conduct research with faculty mentors at ASU along with current ASU graduate students and postdocs. Each participant in our program will receive a $6,000 stipend to use throughout the course of the summer in addition to on-campus housing. There are several things that differentiate our REU program from other NSF REU programs. First, each participant in this program will conduct research on a project that is inspired by sustainable chemistry. This may include developing new procedures to prepare advanced materials, to develop new catalysts that can be used instead of stoichiometric reagents, or to minimize solvent use. Another aspect that differentiates this REU program from other programs is the fact that all students will have the opportunity to work within research neighborhoods that are interconnected. Uh, these neighborhoods are set up to allow for collaboration between research groups and to give you the opportunity to get to know researchers with different skill levels and interests. Our program will also feature a full slate of professional development activities, networking opportunities, and a chance to explore the Phoenix area. Hi, my name is Laura Ackerman Vikashevowitz, and I am an assistant professor in organic chemistry at Arizona State University. Our lab is working on the development of abundant metal catalysts. While catalysts can lower the activation energy of a reaction and successfully enhance reactivity and selectivity, many of the metal catalysts we rely on today are expensive, scarce, or difficult to handle or access. We are part of the movement in chemistry that realizes that synthesis needs to become more sustainable. Our goal is to design catalysts based on inexpensive metals and common organic building blocks. We then use these catalysts to streamline access to synthetic targets. In addition to laboratory experiments, nowadays computer simulations allow us to study molecular processes in even greater detail. Atomistic molecular dynamic simulations allow us to watch closely how molecules in solution interact with surrounding water or other non-aqueous solvent molecules. Detailed analysis of these simulations allows us then to reenact experiments that you are doing in the lab and to compare the results. Uh, we are inorganic materials chemistry group. Uh, we try to make a new kind of solid state uh, on the materials that can act like a strong acid, like a sulfuric acid. You know how harmful sulfuric acid can be in its liquid form, but can you imagine that making something like a sulfuric acid uh, in a solid form, and that could be very, very useful uh, in uh, chemical industry. My group is very active in the field of the synthesis of two-dimensional materials and we investigate how the chemical composition, the surface and the defect chemistry of these low-dimensional materials influence their electrocatalytic activities. Researchers in my lab are interested in developing catalysts that are based on earth-abundant metals such as manganese, cobalt and nickel. Catalysts made in our lab have been used to reduce carbon dioxide, to cure silicone polymers, and to reduce small molecules. Researchers who choose to join the Trovich lab will have the opportunity to make compounds that have never been made before and explore their ability to catalyze reactions that are of environmental or industrial importance. Our laboratory is largely interested in the use of enzymes to enable sustainable solutions to long-standing challenges for the synthesis of structurally or stereochemically complex small molecules and materials. Students in my group are trained extensively in a broad spectrum of research areas across the chemistry and biology disciplines. My research group works at the interfaces of biochemistry, inorganic chemistry, and physical chemistry using biological materials as electrocatalysts. Microbes produce a myriad of redox catalysts that perform valuable chemical reactions. My group focuses both on understanding how microbes use electrons to power chemical transformations 
and on using that knowledge as a blueprint to develop catalysts that can use electricity to drive chemistry. When I was an undergraduate student myself, I had the opportunity to participate in an REU program that gave me the opportunity to gain laboratory experience that I used to succeed in graduate school and pursue a career in lab-based research. I hope that you can apply to our program next fall so that you have the same opportunity to conduct research with a School of Molecular Sciences faculty member next summer. Thank you.